Hey folks, this is Big O and I'm here to teach you another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do multi-track recording in GarageBand 09. That's uh, also version 5 of GarageBand. The things that I'm going to show you should apply to earlier versions and probably to other multi-track recording software as well. So hopefully everybody can get a little something out of it. And before you all ask, no, GarageBand is not available for Windows. If you have Windows or Vista or XP or any of that, you're out of luck. You need to get a Mac, Mac OS X. And uh, I forget the specific requirements, but you must have a Mac uh, to use GarageBand. So you can go to apple.com slash GarageBand, I think is the address, to uh, read more about the requirements. But if you buy a new Mac, it, this program will come with it. So let's open up GarageBand. And uh, let's see, there it is. And uh, hide that one. Um, okay, so we have some uh, presets here, and I'm going to choose the one for voice. And we're going to give it a name. Time track tutorial. And when it comes up here, it uh, by default gives us two tracks. I'm going to delete this one because we don't need it. You can hit Apple Delete to remove that, or you can go up to the track menu. And delete it from there so we just have this one track and the next thing I'm going to do is turn off the metronome some people find that useful uh, for most of the stuff that I do it just kind of gets in the way some people call it a click track as well so I'm going to turn that off and uh, it's given us a default of um, some settings for male voice and you can see that over in the info pane here. If this isn't open, then you can open it by clicking on the little I right here. And you can see vocals, male basic. And uh, I like to record all my stuff raw and add effects to it later. So we're going to set it to no effects. We're going to change the input source to mono. What appears in this list will vary depending on your hardware. But I think most of you will probably have... Uh, the choice of mono one, mono two, or stereo. And uh, I can explain more about that in a different video, but for now, let's just leave it at mono because I have a mono microphone. And uh, this monitor here, on or off, is for if you want to hear your voice when you're doing the actual recording. I always use this when I'm doing anything important. Right now I'm going to leave it off so it doesn't interfere with the video that I'm taking. But uh, I recommend leaving it on. It'll feel weird if you're not used to it, but it'll give you, you'll be better able to sync up with the other tracks when you try to pull it all together if you use it. All right, so this is our timeline, and as we play or record this red line here is going to go across the timeline and um, these numbers are representing measures and beats but you can change that and uh, personally I prefer to use time instead of measures so now you can see this thing says 10 that means that's 10 seconds in and uh, I find that more useful so we're gonna rewind all the way to the beginning and then um, and hit record when we're ready to start. First, we're going to make a couple other tracks. So I'm going to hit Apple D for duplicate. You can also do that in the track menu for duplicate track. I'm going to do that three times so that I have four tracks. I'm going to rename them. Just click on the name here. This one is Bass. This one is Berry for, well, Bear. Uh, close enough. Bear tone. <laughs> Lead. And tenor. And uh, you can see that that brought across the settings that I chose here for, for mono. If, if we had applied uh, 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 effects like reverb or other things like that to it, it also would have duplicated that. All right, so let's record. Make sure I'm rewound. And I'll hit the little button here. Do. Okay, I am so not a bass. All right, so we rewind, and I'm going to click on the next track, and hit record, and do it again. Do, do, do. do. 
Okay, not not perfectly in tune or in sync, but it's good enough for a tutorial. All right, lead, we'll rewind, and do it one more time. Do, do, do. Another thing getting in my way is that I'm not standing up, so I'm not getting good breath support. Anyway, um, on to stop the recording, I'm hitting the space bar. You can also come down here and click on the record button. Again, that works just as well. And final track, tenor. Do, do, do. four tracks and a nice little scale chord kind of thing there i've seen people use that as a warm up, warm up exercise in choruses okay so now let's add some effects to make this sound better we'll go over to the bass and we're going to go to our info panel and click on edit and uh, so this is where you can add all kinds of fun effects and do weird stuff to it so first we're going to do reverb the blue light indicates whether or not that effect is turned on so we're going to add 50% reverb, we're going to add a compressor, and uh, what, what compression is, is uh, beyond the scope of this tutorial, but uh, we'll save that for another day. We're going to add some visual VQ, EQ, so, um, you, and you can get finer grain detail if you click on here, and you, know, you can do it manually, but we're going to just use a preset for the sake of time, and as the bass track, so we're going to do bass boost, so we'll go over here, click on the next track, and do the same thing. Turn on the reverb to 50%. Add compression. Gentle compression. Turn on the visual EQ. And this time we'll add brightness. And let's save that for the tenor. Let's um, add vocal shimmer. Next track, the lead. Reverb to 50%. And again, you can save time by doing this by using duplication of the tracks. Change the compression to gentle. EQ, let's do vocal presence. And tenor. EQ will be uh, brightness. 50% reverb. And gentle compression. Now, the last thing we want to do is add the panning. So this is stereo effects panning left and right. It's a little this little dial right here. So we're going to take the bass. Um, well, actually, let's take the baritone all the way to the left. Tenor all the way to the right. The lead just, just to the right. And the bass just to the left. There we go. And when you put it all together, it sounds like this. Do, do, do. Perfect. Thanks for listening. Be sure to subscribe if you like it and uh, check back for lots more tutorials. We'll see you.